is The Locker Room on News 3. Welcome into our award-winning locker room show sponsored by your Hampton Roads Chevy dealers. I'm Megan Plain. Adam Winkler has the night off. Now today was supposed to be the thrilling first Friday night of high school football playoff games, but every local game has been postponed. I'm going to have more on that, but first, it is Masters Week in the world of golf, and a Virginia Beach resident is doing pretty dang well in the tournament. In today's second round, Mark Leishman shoots five under par 67. Today's performance moves him up to fourth place on the Masters leaderboard. So he makes the cut and he will be playing this weekend. Yeah, I'm excited for the next two days, but there's a, a lot of good shots have to be hit and a lot of good putts made um, to, get, to give myself a chance going into the back nine on, on Sunday. So uh, hopefully I can have a good day tomorrow and um, put myself in that position. Now, in order to have a good day tomorrow, Leishman will be putting in plenty of preparation before golfers take the course. He says that the makeup of this course can quickly change overnight, going from either hard to soft or soft to hard. So he will be putting in plenty of work on the putting green before round three gets underway. Tomorrow morning is going to be important, whether we have rain or not, getting the speed of the greens. I remember in 2018, I think I was either leading or one back going into Saturday and I didn't adjust to the speed of the greens and I barely made a birdie all day. Um, hit it as good as I'd probably hit it ever hit it around here and couldn't make a putt. So I think I've learned that you have to take each day as it comes. Someone who is all out of days at the Masters is defending champ Dustin Johnson, who earned a green jacket when the Masters was last held in November, but he did not make the cut ahead of this weekend. And currently atop the leaderboard is Justin Rose, who is seven under par. Now the third round gets underway tomorrow morning and live coverage begins at 3 p.m. right here on News 3. And we will be your home for the Masters all weekend long with the final day's coverage beginning at 2. Now tonight the weather rains on the postseason football parade. We're going to take a quick break, but I'm going to have more on our local high school football teams that are competing in the playoffs coming up next. Inside our award-winning locker room show, sponsored by your Hampton Roads Chevy dealers. Now, today marked an exciting day for many of our local football teams who are set to begin postseason play. And then this weather happens. Due to all the rain, thunder, and lightning we've received this evening, all 757 postseason football games scheduled to be played tonight have been moved to tomorrow. Here's a look at the updated region semifinals schedule. We have five teams playing in that one to two time frame, and later that day, the undefeated Cox Falcons will be hosting Deep Creek at 6 o'clock. Now Oscar Smith and Grassfield, on the other hand, they were able to avoid a weather delay when they moved their game, originally scheduled to be played tonight, ahead by a day. The Tigers beat the Grizzlies 48-0 in what is this week's Hercules Fence 7-5-7 showdown matchup. Oscar Smith now advances to Class 6 Region A Finals, where they will be hosting Chester, Virginia's Thomas Dale. Now, this was the same region championship matchup we got a season ago when the Tigers beat the Knights 29-7. Each of these teams enters next week's game undefeated, continuing what has been an unprecedented spring football season. Given spring break, and it, it just had a weird feel this whole week to think that March Madness equals high school football sports. Uh, but with that, it was just a great opportunity to get out here, get better. I think our guys are making steps and to get better and get ready to play against better competition. While Oscar Smith hosted the only postseason game to be played in the 7-5-7 thus far, they are not the only team to take part in a playoff game. Pocosin traveled a few hours away tonight to take on Nottaway. The Islanders came out on top, winning 16-12. to And if they win their region finals game next week, they will be earning their first state playoff berth since 2017. That'll do it for this edition of our award-winning locker room show. From me and everyone behind the scenes to help make this happen, thanks for tuning in. And before we say goodbye, here is Patrick Rocky with one final check of the forecast.